Hi everyone and welcome to another Fly Deck to Sim tutorial. In today's video I'll be introducing you to the root 2 function of the 737 FMC which was recently added to the Zebo Mod 737 and was implemented into the real 737 back in 2015 with FMC update 11. So here we are in the cockpit on a short sector in the UK. We're flying currently between London, Luton and Edinburgh. I reached top of climb a few moments ago and I'm now going to show you how to use Route 2 to enter the next sector. Now the great thing about Route 2 is it gives you the capability of entering a second route without it affecting the existing route. Now my operator we use Route 2 to load in the next flight and that helps save some time during a quick turnaround but it can also be used to enter alternate routing if say diverting although personally I've had it's just easier to modify the existing routing. So what we're going to do now is go into the FMC and uh, into Route 2 or the Route 2 pages of the FMC for that return sector to Luton and we'll then activate that during the turnaround after landing. So here we are on the cruise page on our way to Edinburgh. If I go to the route page, you can see here's the existing route, page two of three, and then page one of three. Now, if I select route two, what it'll do is enter some new prompts, and all you now need to simply do is enter the next sector. So if we go here to the operational flight plan, we'll put in Edinburgh, Echo, Golf, Papa, Hotel, and we'll now insert Luton, Echo, Golf, Golf, Whiskey, and you can see that information is now in the FMC. Very important though, you do not change the flight number, your call sign here. The FMC only has the ability to put in one call sign. So if you change it here for the next sector, it'll affect your mode S output. So ATC will see that as your new call sign. So we only update that after landing. So we now just simply put in the routing information as you would do for route one. So here we are via two. So I'll put in initially the well departure arrivals for the departure airport there so go to route 2 important not to change route 1 we'll then select runway uh, 24 which we're expecting for arrival and departure today and then the uh, SID the Gossam 1 Charlie and then you just enter the routing as you would do in route 1 I'll do that now and I'll see you once I've inserted the route uh, afterwards <laughs> There you are, so you can see I've put in a list though, we'll just put in the arrival into Luton later, so again, departure arrivals, make sure you select route 2, and um, we're expecting ILS 25, the Listo 1 November, we go to the legs page, and this will then show you the route 2 legs, not your existing route, and you can see there's no discontinuities. Now if you have a look on the ND, you'll also see the route 2 inserted in a blue dashed line for the return sector. Uh, you should also be able to see that on the plan page as well, which is uh, this is awesome. It's exactly as it, it should display. Again, you can go back a few pages. You can see your existing routes, the magenta line, the blue dash line showing the return sector as well. And it's very important once you've finished inserting the route, the arrival, like I have done here on the route two page, that's it. Two things remember. Do not activate it, otherwise that will cause problems with your existing route. And also on the route one page, do not change your, your flight number. And what you need to simply do is after landing, activate and execute the next route. And to go back to route one, all you need to do is on the uh, route to page one page, go to route one and that will temporarily uh, remove that. It's still loaded, you just go back to route two. The same on the legs page, you go to the route one legs, you can go to route two legs and modify the routing as you so wish. So I'll get the aircraft set up for the approach into Edinburgh then I'll meet you on the ground and I'll show you how to activate Route 2. Fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, ten.
So here we are, ladies and gentlemen, in Edinburgh. We landed on time. A lovely, smooth landing again for Alpaca Airways. Pilot monitoring for the next sector is now currently doing the walk around. And as pilot flying, we're going to get everything set up for the next sector. Now, regarding the routing information, the FMC, remember we loaded the return flight sector to Luton earlier on in the cruise. All we need to do is go to Route 2. You can see the FMC has now loaded that up. And we put in our call sign for the next sector, which is Alpaca 0 Two, we simply put that in the flight number box, which is our call sign. You can then activate and you can then execute, and it's now loaded into the FMC. So you've saved yourself a couple of minutes, even on long sectors with a lot of information to put in the FMC. You might have saved even more time, and you can then simply uh, finish uploading the FMC, the performance information as well. So then guys, that's the end of the little Route 2 FMC tutorial. I hope you found that useful and perhaps learned something new. This is now introduced into the latest version of the Zebo Mod 737. So make sure you download that and try it out yourself. And let me know what you think in the comments section below. If you really enjoyed the video, don't forget to thumbs up the video and subscribe to stay up to date with the latest content as well. Stay safe out there and I'll see you on another live stream or tutorial very soon. Bye bye for now.